Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I love crepes, and I love using leftover brisket. So I had this idea of let's incorporate the two. I've got lots of brisket here, and we're going to make some uh, savory crepes with uh, a nice brisket filling. So hang on. There is very little prep, and I love that. So I'm just going to get the chives chopped up because we are adding a little bit of chives to the crepe. Just nice and fine. We're going to use some of this in the crepe and then as a garnish. The brisket, we're just going to dice it up nice and small. There's no uh, right or wrong way for this, but we want it small enough that we can fill the, the crepe very nicely. So just nice little dice like this. Uh, we are going to fry it up with a few other ingredients because we got to get that flavor in there. And if it falls apart, that's okay. It's, uh, it's super tender and it probably will. Like I said, there's not going to be a lot of ingredients in the filling because we want to keep it fairly simple but just packed full of flavor. So I've got onion here, which I'm going to dice up and some cremini mushrooms I'm also going to dice up. We have all the uh, ingredients for the filling done, but we're not going to fry them off yet because we're actually going to make the crepe first and get those fried off because the th nice thing is with this, you can do these ahead of time, have them just sitting there, do them the day before, and uh, because they're, I can only do one at a time and that's the, the issue. So we're gonna do it first and uh, get that out of the way. And then the filling is the easy part. Now, I don't have a recipe per se. It's all up here because I used to watch my grandmother do this and she didn't have a recipe. She just whipped it together. So me doing it enough, I know basics. So we're gonna take three eggs. And you can scale this up or down if you need to. Well, I am gonna add a little bit of salt. You always need to add salt. It helps with the flavor and just a little bit. Just gonna whisk the eggs quickly. For every egg, I use one scoop of flour. That's just the little scooper I happen to have here with the flour. And this usually works pretty well. And the nice thing is there's not a lot of ingredients to this. Like so you probably have all of this in your kitchen right now. So it is very smooth now, but the only real ingredient I need to still add is a little bit of water. Now, you could add milk. I just like adding water. I just like to add a little bit at a time, get it all mixed, and then get it to the consistency I need it. So now at this point, you could just make them and have them as a sweet crepe, but we're gonna add some of the chives just to add a little bit of color and flavor. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna get the hot plate ready and uh, let's fry these off. Okay, for this, I got the hot plate here. Get you on. I have a normal stainless steel pan I really like to use. It's really low, but doesn't work on the induction. So I'm using this uh, carbon steel pan. I know it should be lower, but it, it works. It's, uh, I am using real butter. I love using butter for this. Uh, I got my plate for the finished ones and uh, we're just letting this heat up and then we're going to get them going. Now you don't want to take too much and when you're in there you got to spread it around because you want it, I want it as big as possible and then just let it set up on the heat here and then we're going to give it one flip 
just to get some color on both sides and just keep going with it. There we go. The first one for me is always the biggest pain. Anyways, we're going to get these all fried off and, uh, and then get to the next step. Whoop. Off. We're going to put you there for now. So there we go. Beautiful. So just to let you know, we got four crepes out of that bash. So you can use that as a gauge to make more or less. Right now, we're going to just push those to the side and we're going to get started on the filling. Okay, we're back. I gave the, the pan a quick rinse and we're going to get the filling done now. But I'm going to actually use some beef tallow and uh, because I have it and it's great to use. Start with the onions, get them going. Time for the mushrooms. And again, mushrooms have a lot of moisture in them, so they will shrink down quite a bit. So this is looking great. Reducing nicely. Time for the brisket. We aren't actually making a gravy for this, but I had a great idea, we're going to take some sour cream and if you've ever had a stroganoff, they usually use sour cream or something like that in there. So all we're doing now, we're just going to heat this through and then quickly make a cheese sauce, I haven't forgotten about that, and then uh, whip this thing together. Okay, so that's uh, heated through nicely and where I want it. I'm just going to put it in this. We're going to make a very quick sauce. And the best, well, the one way I love to do it is with butter and flour. And that's just to make a roux. And that will actually be the thickening part of the sauce. Normally you use equal parts flour and butter. What I'm going to do now is just let this heat up and brown off a little bit. That adds extra flavor in the butter and flour. You cook it down a little bit. Everything else is basically here. We're going to use coconut milk. We're going to use gorgonzola cheese. And I've got some freshly grated Parmesan. Now by adding color to this, you're just going to make the gravy darker or lighter depending on how dark you want it. Add the liquid first. Just a little bit first. And we're going to add some of this cheese. Let that in there and melt down. Gorgonzola is an Italian blue cheese. It's not as strong as some of the other guys. But so it's very nice to use in a sauce like this. And a little bit of Parmesan just to help round out the flavor. Okay, we're finally here. I got everything laid out. So we're gonna take one of the beautiful crepes. The meat's still nice and hot, perfect. I like to take my fork just to help roll the whole thing over. Like that. Ah, this cheese sauce, let's just Let's go all out, come on. Those chives, we're gonna just uh, put some on top for color and decoration. Look at that beautiful piece of art. Actually, food art. Now, should I dive in? Oh yeah, I'm gonna dive in. Got my utensils, that's uh, It's going to be hard for you guys to see, but let me do this. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. 
Oh wow. <laughs> I've just upped the game huge for me. Mm. Oh my god, that is so good. Oh that brisket, that crepe, that cheese sauce, that just all so complements each other. It's fantastic. Oh yes. That's so good. But honestly, I have to go finish this off camera and stop making you jealous. And uh, I'm gonna go do that. Well, everybody, thanks for watching. This was a really, really fun one for me. I love using uh, leftover brisket in new meals and creating different dishes. This is just fantastic. It's easy to do. You guys can all do this. Take a pot roast, take whatever, take some other leftover if you don't have brisket. But do this, make your uh, savory crepes, and you won't regret it. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, see you soon, and happy eating.